Faro Obama is demanding something big from Congress in order to reduce the massive deficits that he has run up. Now, here's what he's offering. A new gauge to measure inflation on Social Security payments to reportedly save $200 billion over the next 10 years. The trade-off would be for Republicans to agree to commit political suicide and agree to raise taxes. And as I pointed out on my show, they'd also end up taking the blame for Obama's cuts to Social Security. It's a no-brainer, rotten deal for the Republicans. But some of the loudest howls of protest are coming from Democrats. The almost invisible House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi jumped all over Obama's plan, saying there was no way that her caucus would ever support it. She even resorted to the class warfare language that Democrats typically aim at Republicans. She lectured Obama. She said, don't, don't, uh, do not consider Social Security a piggy bank for giving tax cuts to the wealthiest people in our country. We're not going to balance the budget on the backs of America's seniors. The AARP, which sold out seniors when they supported Obamacare, said that they won't accept any cuts to Social Security as part of a deal to pay the nation's bills. Now, you put aside Obama's sham proposal. Eventually, we're going to have a deal with entitlements, including Social Security and Medicare, or end up like Greece. should be clear to you that Democrats will never do it. They'd rather see the country bankrupt than economically viable.